Now let us learn what is known as a regular polygon. This was general polygon. What do you mean by regular polygon? This is the word you will regularly, you know, see in your books. Okay. A regular triangle is an equilateral triangle. A regular quadrilateral is a square. If I just give you these two hints, you should be able to give me an idea of what does it mean by regular polygon. A regular triangle, triangle is a polygon, is a equilateral triangle, is an equilateral triangle. What does that mean? What is so special about equilateral triangle? All the three sides are equal, all the three angles are also equal, each being 60 degrees and the three sides are also equal. So, this is an equilateral triangle. This is an irregular polygon, the special polygon of a triangle. If I say a regular quadrilateral is a square, all the four sides are equal, all the four angles are also equal, each being 90 degrees. With this logic, if I have a pentagon and if I say this is regular, what does that mean? The same logic holds good. What does that mean? All angles are equal and all sides are equal. So, obviously, you can have different types, is not it? The angles need not be always equal. The angles need not be always equal here. The, here also we know very well that the inner triangle, the angle need not be always equal. This is a rare case when all the angles are equal, all the sides are equal. All the angles are equal, all the sides are equal. Here also all the angles are equal, all the sides are equal. That is a regular pentagon. Obviously, you will have a regular hexagon, you will have a regular heptagon and so on. So, for any regular polygon, if all the internal angles are equal, then all the internal sides also become equal or rather all the sides of the polygon also become equal length, then it is known as a regular pentagon or hectagon or septagon or whatever the shape may be. So, this is the definition of a regular because you have to be very careful the word if it says regular, take it for granted that all the internal angles must be equal. Now, here what is the internal angle? The total was 360 for any quadrilateral since all of them are equal you divide by 4, you get 90 degrees and that is how we got that 90 degree and that is how we call it as a square. Here, the total is 180 degrees divided by 3 because there are 3 angles, each becoming 60 degrees. What happens here? Now, we must know what is the total. Total we know very well, n minus 2 into 180 degrees and what is n? 5, 5 minus 2 into 180 degrees, 3 into 180 degrees that is equal to 540. These two we remember because we do a lot of problems in that. This is not something we do very uh, frequently. So, we try to remember the formula. If you are able to remember for pentagon 540, it is fine. You keep on adding 180, you can get the answer. In any case, start from 180, then 360, then another 180 you add, then another 180 you add for 6 sided, another 180 you add for 7 sided and so on. So, that is one way of remembering it. The other way is to directly remember the formula and get the answer. These two with the formula only we can get it, but now that we are using that more frequently, we will sort of remember it. Okay. So, this is the total of all the phi angles. Each angle, if it is regular, going to be divided by phi, 108 degrees. You can go on, 6 sided figure, if it is regular. If it is not regular, the total will stiff. In this case also, if it is not regular, the total will remain 540. Individually, each angle need not be 108, one can be 120, the other can be less than maybe only 70, the third one can be very less, either way. Okay. So, the total has to be 18, uh, 540, if it is regular, each angle is 108 degrees. Here also, each angle it is how much next 720, is not it? How do we get 720? 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 into 180 is 720, 720 divided by 6, so 6 ones are 6, 6 two are 12, 120 degrees. If you just look at the way things are going, a regular tri triangle, which is basically an equilateral triangle, each angle was 60, then it increased to 90, then it increased to 108, it increased to 120. Obviously, for 7 sided figure, you will find it more than 120, you should. Let us see, let us just check for one more thing. 7 sided figure, again I am not going to draw, you just directly get the answer. So, what is the total? n minus 2 into 180 which is 7 minus 2, this is what 7 sided figure. Okay. So, 7 minus 2 into 180 degrees, 5 into 180 which is 900 degrees. The sum of all the angles is 900. If it is regular, I have to divide by what? 7, 900 by 
7. What do I expect? It should be more than 120 degrees. Is it? Yes. The 7 ones are 7, 27, 2s are 14, 60, 7 8s uh, are 56. Then you have some decimals. In decimal, you will get the answer. So, so, you can convert the decimal into minutes and seconds and all that. Let us not go into that. But you will get visually, it is get, going more than this. Isn't it? As you increase the number of sides for a regular polygon, each and every angle becomes more and more and more and more. So, for 10, it is going to be really big. All angles are going to be big. So, this is each and every angle for a regular polygon. But we have learned that the sum of all the external angles is always 360 degree come what may it can be three sided figure a four sided figure a five sided figure so for a three sided figure if it is a regular now we are going to talk only about regular so each angle is 60 obviously each exterior angle must be 120 only total is 360 correct now for a square which is a regular quadrilateral each interior angle is 90 so each exterior angle is also 90 total is 360 isn't it 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 it in any case it remains at 360 let us see for a regular pentagon like this the total of the exterior angle still has to be remaining as 360 that's what we learned let us see what is happening like that now interior angle how many exterior angle you get five of them one two three four and five if this is 108 how much is this going to be 180 minus 108 72 this is also 72 this is also 72 this is also 72 and this is also 72 and if i add all of them i should get 360 72 into 5 is 360 degree isn't it so the interior angle keeps on increasing the exterior angle keeps on decreasing the exterior angle sum remains 360 interior angle sum keeps on changing it's from 180 it became 360 it became 540 then became 720 and then finally here 900 and so on so interior individual angle size increases the total increases but exterior angle size becomes smaller and smaller but the total still remains 360 see it was 72 into 5 is 360 if you go for a six sided figure what did we get here here okay let us try here for six sided figure all the internal angles are 120 degrees we are talking only about the regular ones so this is 120 and this is also 120 if i take exterior this is 60 all linear pair this is 60 then you have 60 then you have 60 then you have another 60 and then another 60 so there are six exterior angles each is 60 so 60 into 6 360 so the sizes are changing from 120 exterior angle it became 90 it became 72 it became 60 if you go down if you have the size increase the exterior angle size becomes smaller but the total remains 360 only so 60 into 6 is 360 you go for the next one you will get the answer you go for the next one just try at least up to 10 you should sort of have fun with it okay so you see the interior angles increasing the exterior angle decreasing some of the interior angles will keep on increasing as you increase the sides but the sum of the exterior angles remains at 360 come what may you may keep on increasing the sides the exterior angles total always remains at 360 360 here here also it's 360 there also we, we found as 360 and so on so you can try for same thing and have 10 sided figure just have a small column and see what is the sum coming up to so this is the main thing regarding the interior angle exterior angle sum of the interior angle sum of the exterior angle and so on so with this i think we can sort of uh, pretty much start doing the problem because there's not much to do as far as uh, many more formulas are concerned you just can start doing some problems suppose the each the uh, what is the sum of all exterior angles of a decagon if such a question as there is no need for us to calculate for a decagon or for a octagon or for a n times the sides or whatever it may be exterior angle sum is always equal to 360 degrees so suppose i ask you what is the value of each si angle of a septagon or other heptagon seven sided figure exterior angle so you have an exterior angle total of 360 degrees and in a heptagon there are seven exterior angles so you just divide by seven 
So, each angle will be equal to 360 by 7 degrees, that is all. So, for a any general n sided figure, all regular, here I am on talking about the regular, all the figures which I talk about are regular, not irregular. Regular means all angles are equal, all sides are equal. So, for any exterior angle of an n sided figure is equal to 360 degree divided by n, n is the number of sides of that figure. So, 5 sided figure, 6 sided figure, 7 and so on. So, for a 7 sided figure for a heptagon, total exterior angle is 360, each angle will be 360 by 7. For an n sided figure, it is 360 by n. So, for exterior angle, I uh, presume it is very easy. For interior also, as we remembered, the total is n minus 2 into 180 degrees, this is the total divided by n, how many sides it has got, will give you value of each interior angle. When I say each interior angle, I mean it is a regular polygon, otherwise all interior angles will be different if it is not regular. So, we are just going to talk only about regular, value of each interior angle is equal to n minus 2 into 180 by n, as n is the number of sides. Now, with this we can directly verify for a triangle, for a triangle, for a regular triangle, what is the each angle interior angle, it is 60. Am I going to get 60 here? Let me see. For a triangle, n is 3. So, 3 minus 2 into 180 divided by 3. So, 3 minus 2 is 1 into 180 is 180 by 3, 60 degrees. We know that very well, is not it? For a regular triangle, which is an equilateral triangle, each interior angle is 60 degrees. So, for a quadrilateral, each angle must be 90 degrees, if it is regular, is not it? So, let us use the same formula, n is equal to 4, because this number of sides is 4. So, 4 minus 2 into 180 degrees divided by n, which is again 4. So, you have 2 into 180 degrees by 4, you can cancel this 2 and become 90 degrees. We know that, is not it? A regular 4 sided figure, which is a square, it is not a rectangle, remember that, it is only a square, because only in square you have all the 4 sides equal and all the 4 angles are equal. Again, rhombus is not regular, because the sides are equal, but the angles are not equal. So, this is the only square we are talking about, it is a regular polygon, which is a 4 sided figure, each angle is 90, same we can find for 5 sided, 6 sided, 7 sided and so on. So, this is the sum of all interior angles, when you divide by n, you get the value of each and every interior angle. This is the sum of all exterior angle, you divide by n, you get the value of each and every exterior angle.